hello people of the internet, my name is Nicola, and you can see by the channel what this is. So I got this. Nope, not on me camera, on this beauty please. So yeah, I bought this. The thing is, I already opened the packaging. I got it from yesterday. I remember myself on that video, like a TED talk where the guy goes, <laughs> Oh my god, I got this. So yeah, it came in this. And I don't know if it's, this, this is straight from Korea. I don't think so. Maybe it is, but I see Netherlands, so And it says it's from the Netherlands, so I think maybe they have some stock there or they deliver the stock to Netherlands. It's easier to like distribute around Europe. And for this, I paid apparently nothing. It's I don't know how much I bought it for, I don't really remember. But yeah, the only reason why I got this video was just to hit that 30 pound mark so I don't pay for delivery. And they got a free sheet mask, which is, I think is very cute. I really like that. Oh, I got a little one ho. One ho, my baby. Why am I acting as if I could actually read this? Oh, there's actually English. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just filming this intro here just because purely like, oh my god, look at this. At the front, it says Monster X and like, I'm already gassed. <laughs> it's a color with Tony Moly. Is it Tony Molly? This is the back. If any of you can read this, good for you. And the side. It's a nice aesthetic packaging. It's very simple. It's smaller than I expected, but then it was a touch up. Man, why is it dirty? Okay, I opened it and I see this. I'm not gonna be too bothered by it, honestly. I'm not that bitch. It's just gonna be like, oh my god, it's slightly dirty. I just send it all back. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Ah. Okay, it's a nice cute tin. It says Monster X. Collab with them. And the front. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. Ooh. Okay. Again, it's a. It's dirty. I don't. I mean, not the circles. I know the circles for this, but like, there's like stuff floating around here, and I'm a bit confused. Oh man, okay, this is cute. Here there's a um, tone-up cushion with SPF 50. Wow. The thing is, I actually wear SPF 50 because I am on antibiotics for my skin. And then when you have like acne antibiotics, your skin is very sensitive. So I'm really happy about that. And an oil control packed. Oh, that's so cool. So when you're like oily and everything, just go and you're Gucci. That's really cool. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh, she cute. Oh my god, this is oh, oh the mirror is so nice though. I'm not used to good quality makeup at all. Mine is lipsticks because I used to think I actually usually invest in. I usually buy like MUA collection from Super Dry. <laughs> or anything on sale, anything I get as a gift. So this is the the SPF 50 thing. That's the front. Oh my god, I'm such a beauty YouTuber. Oh my god, my makeup is so good today. I'm so happy I actually did my makeup today. It was by pure accident. Oh, this is so cute and small. Oh my god. So you have a snazzy mirror. As you can see, guys, you are stacked up on a pile of books and stuff. And this is the little Monster X thing. Sorry for my disgusting nails. They break even when they're short. So this is what it is. Look at this part. It's upside down. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to beauty guru here. Please. No. See, it looks like this. And then you open it like this. Oh, it's so cute. I never use them. Oh, okay. I actually used like similar kind of puffs i guess but they're like the actual oh that's so cute and then when you open it whoop. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. this is like the shit we want are you ready oh oh that smells nice <laughs> oh it smells so cute oh my god so this is this and then you can take your little boss text buff. Okay, this is it. What if I oh my god. Beauty gurus, how do you do it? Beep, 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 beep. I just wanna see how it feels on the skin. I applied way too much for this little area. <laughs> I just realized. That smells so nice. It smells like Oh my god, what does it smell like? Okay, Nicola, come on, use your brain juices to figure this out. Um It's like a Delicate, slightly rose. No. <sighs> it's like delicately, delicately, delicately sweet, but not too sweet. Like just, just, just enough. 
Ooh, this feels good. This feels really good on the skin. I don't know, the package is cute. This looks, this will this will work very nice as a base, I can tell, because it um, brightens up your skin. My problem is that my face and my the rest of my body just doesn't match. Do you see this? I mean, you can't really see it on camera because it kind of like neutralizes that, but my face is too dark compared to my, it's way darker than my body because like my body's like a sickly yellow pale. It's disgusting. It's a disgusting color, let me tell you. I, I just, I can't go for a fake tan. I saw this movie where like these girls were like fake tanning and like they not fake tanning but on tanning on sunburns and then they burnt because like they brought like a drink there and then they died because the water droplets went to the cables and there was a zvarche i don't know how that's in english yeah so that would probably be just with the starbucks and i guess this is the oil control one Again, acne prone skin and oil oiliness is a thing. However, my my skin is dry. I can't say like it is dry. I don't think it's combination. Let's see, dry, dry. Combination going well to dry, so I think it's gonna be very nice because after I apply my makeup, it I can't use matte finishes at all. But that like I, I try to make it it kind of it's kind of I don't know how to make up. So whenever I apply my foundation and everything, I keep it quite moist. So over time, my my uh, my face gets a bit too moist here, especially when I wear my glasses, and it just kind of cakes up and it gets oily, and the rest is just always dry or comes off. So I think this would be very nice. Oh, sorry, this is the big. Beep. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, she did. My mirror here is very. Oh, no. There's no protective thing. Okay, it's just a very scratched mirror. Can I clean it, do you think? I don't want to judge before I try. This mirror is like worse quality. Quality. Quality is kind of scratched and kind of dim. But the other one is really good mirror. And yeah, it's okay. Ooh, this, oh, this one's more see-through. Okay, so here we have like a clear one. I'm pretty sure I would have to clean this if it's for oil control. Because then oil will build up on that and it'll get kind of nasty over time. And then it's just like a powder. I mean, I can use it now. I don't think I'm oily anywhere. Actually, never mind. I think I am. Yep, I am. Okay. See, you never know how oily you can get. Okay, please don't mind my upper lip because I didn't wax it. So I have a mustache, but that's okay. It's 2020. I can have a mustache if I want one. So I'm just gonna apply. Oh, not on me. Here. And I'm gonna use the other mirror because I can't see myself on that one. I should just. This is amazing. I don't have to actually move. So you can't, I'm not that oily, but I am. Oh, you can't probably tell at all. So, boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna apply more in the areas where I have glasses. Have glasses, wear glasses, because that gets very oily and I run here. Okay, I'm gonna try this mirror because I can't be asked to switch between them. By the way, I know, like, this part of my eyes is very bad. I don't know, it's just how I am. I think it's just the infinite amount of coffee and hours of computer and phone and barely any hours of sleep, but I could be wrong. Beep, 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 Ooh! Oh, shit, okay. Part of my language. I don't know if you can see. Wow, it's actually working. <laughs> this is why I'm not a beauty guru. The fact that I'm taking oil off my skin and putting it back into this and then gonna reuse that is just kind of doesn't really bother me like i'm not a bacteria phobia person what this is there's a word for a bacteria phobia person uh, at least a homophobe <laughs> i'm not a homophobe but um uh, what's it called i can't remember oh shit okay i'm just doing it systematically on areas because if you just go use it all over your face you're gonna drag like your i can't do this guys <laughs> you're going to drag around your bronzer your contour your highlight your what do people put on blusher blusher or is it blush blush so i just did it here and here there is stuff here there is oil oh my god no camera not me there is oil that has been taken off that's so satisfying but now i'm gonna check my skin i think it did a pretty nice job i think it kind of smoothed out my skin a bit more as well it just kind of you know how like in K-dramas they overdo like the filter, the filter, the filter with um, making your skin very smooth. That's how I feel like. I'm like, give me that K-drama man, sis. Okay, so tomorrow or after tomorrow, I'm going to try out the other one. I'm very excited because I think 
it might help out even on my skin tone a bit because you get to see how bad I look without this. So see you tomorrow, ladies and gents. It's so dirty, I can't see through them. <laughs> gotta be done and gotta be done it's gotta be done what has to be done will be done so females with a mustache is a bit of a taboo these days so Ugh, i'm just gonna get rid of it can i just shave it off like Doing this is so painful because I never do it right because like it's you're supposed to like rub it here up but still but, but like ugh, it never gets actually warm enough and then I do it wrong and then I cry and then it hurts and then it rips out nothing so like the pain is like for nothing what if I sit on it what if I turn the radiator on and put it on the radiator I don't know it seems like it'll stick <laughs> Don't leave the strip on the skin for more than a few seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Oh my god, this is. <laughs> I didn't remove everything. <laughs> Can I reapply the same one on? Is that like unhygienic? You know what? Whatever. Three, two. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it actually worked. Are you ready? Am I supposed to be this red? I never did this, guys. <laughs> this was my first time. Usually my mom would do it, but... I don't think this one worked. <gasps> I am so ra Am I allergic to this by any chance? Am I supposed to be this red? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be like when BG Guru fails. Nah, I'll be fine. If I put cold water on the red, it'll calm down. It's fine. I'm a professional. Three, two. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow. Oh wow, this hair on this. Do I show is that disgusting? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> By the way, the camera makes me look way more red than I actually am. Like IRL, this is not this red. Oh wow, it looks so bad on camera. <gasps> wow, no wonder I got freaked out. Look at this. Wow, that's impressive. I'm gonna try the face mask from Yesel. It's this one. From this brand. It's. Look at me, vegetable bunny face mask. It's not gonna be bunnies all over, I'm gonna be disappointed. Energizing and awakening. Look at me, oh, that's a brand. Okie dokie. Ingredients water, and some other stuff, root extract. Half of them I can't pronounce, that's a bit concerning. Castor oil, that's good, right? I don't know, let's just open up this bad boy and see what happens. Nothing interesting because it's just a face mask. I wish they did like bunny ones like with actual bunnies all over them. I think I mean they do, but these are they are more expensive. This is how I feel the inside every day. Oh my god. People do that, right? They just go. <laughs> this video is gonna be unnecessarily very long. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna apply this skin serum. I bought it at TK Maxx just because beauty gurus use serums. So I was like, I need one as well. What does it do? Not quite sure, but. It feels really good, so I just wear it. I realize my skin feels more. See? 
see this? And now, this is Polish, so I don't know if you're gonna find this unless you're in Poland or in a Polish shop. Bielenda face cream. Ooh. Also, for my last time, I bought, I ordered the Vosta X Tinsa with a lip kit, however, I bought it, but then they were like, oh, sorry, we don't have it. And I was like, mm. so I'm very upset about that, but it's okay. I really just didn't realize it's not in stock. Just kind of bizarre, but whatever. So if you yes, still, if, you're gonna stock up anytime soon let me know so all of you guys if you see the lip kit set with mustax on it tell me but like at a normal price please i'm just thinking do i want to apply more um primer before this or not doesn't really suggest anything i'm gonna apply some primer just because your girl definitely needs some primer i literally missed my face that's okay why am i nervous <laughs> <laughs> I should not be nervous to use this, but whatever. You know what's annoying? For job interviews, right? Or jobs in general. They don't want uni students. For them, we are the worst thing in society to ever exist. So... Whoa! Okay. Okay, I see you. I think my re primer reacts with um my um what do you call it oh my jesus wow wait i think my brightness is a bit too up i think my primer reacts with my skincare i should have let it l let it kind of um absorb in a bit more from what i can see now Boop. okay let me do just my right side and then i'll show you in comparison I think this is really good for people that are very discolored like me. <laughs> As you can see, the discoloration is on a different level. Whoa! Okay. I, wait, let me do my camera settings because this portrayal is a bit false. <laughs> Bitch. I can't clap. Ow. <laughs> it's just a sick up audio, but look at this. Try to tell me there's not a difference. I actually dare you. <laughs> wow. Wait, let me try a different camera set. This apparently is auto setting. So whatever setting I'm on, you can see the difference this makes. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to put foundation on this. The thing is, I wanna, I'm want to. i just going to do my right side of my face and then my left side and I'm going to do the overall thing. No, that's so stupid. I'm just going to do my whole face because like... I'm gonna have a job interview, I don't wanna mess up. And someone's rolling our hoover. Hmm. So I'm gonna just finish off the rest of my face. But I did, but I do think I applied a little bit too much, not gonna lie. Ow, I'm getting cramps. How does the product spread on this? Okay, pretty evenly. And I'm, and I'm getting no like, um, allergic reaction or anything so that's really good it doesn't hurt my skin i'm not in it i'm in no pain <laughs> this is so big exaggerate because of my camera i love that this must be a question what camera setting is like the most reliable one because on all of them i just do <laughs> it looks like no this is oh okay this portrayal very incorrect okay i think that's like the closest i'm gonna get for now but do you see there's not that much of a dram- Oh, there is a difference, but not as as dramatic as the previous one. <laughs> Jesus. However, one thing I will say, this doesn't really stay on the skin. Like, this this bish wipes off, so... Be careful. Again, the pinkness on my cheeks isn't my natural pinkiness, so bear with it. But just remember, the difference is not as dramatic as the camera makes it seem. I just prefer this camera setting compared to the other ones because none of them really reflect any natural shades in my face. So now I'm gonna cake my face up. This makes me look so pale. <laughs> and now, shiny's back. <laughs> not sexy shiny. The collab we all want. We will never get. <gasps> I don't know what Dior this is, but this is a Dior. Dun dun dun, finger deep, 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 beep, 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 beep. I need to go and buy some foundation. The thing is, no one can ever match my foundation, right? Like, I go ask the ladies, like, can you get one that matches my face, right? Well, maybe it may not look that bad on my face, but it's always too dark compared to my body. So I can never wear t-shirts that I don't. I think I already said that, though. 
So I feel like being repetitive, I am. <gasps> this is gonna be the most annoying video ever. I'm just using camera settings. I just can't look at this. What is this? Whatever, let this be. I like to film in natural daylight when it's makeup. It just looks better, but whatever. Okay, this foundation is very sheer. How much of a difference will this make? We shall see in a second. Well, probably just be because my camera's not cooperating. It definitely brightened up my face and my skin. But that's kind of all that I can say for now. Now I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder foundation again. Sample because we cheap up in here. Oh my god. I need to remember job interview. Not can't go too crazy on makeup. Make it look nice, natural, professional. Show them, show them Nicola that even teenagers, teenagers, even uni students can be professionals. Wow, since when these foundations are so dark? They look so orangey, but then I blend them in and they kind of look fine. But again, I think everyone that I asked to match my foundation, like at Estee Lauder, at Dior, just, mmm. The best thing is I went to Dior and then like straight after I went to Estee Lauder and they just matched me two completely different shades. Ah. <laughs> oh. I, sh I think in my video where I did the Valentine's Day makeup k drama tutorial thing, hopefully be up soon, or maybe even up before this. I could bed the foundations. I tried to put a clip in here, I don't know if I will have it, if not. And like, the difference between how I match my foundation and how like the rest match my foundation is quite funny. But again, I think I match it the best because when I put on bronzer, my skin does get a bit darker. Ooh, I am not mad at this at all. Um, does it get darker either way a bit? in some areas and then like overall looks fine but then when <laughs> when i use the ones from like um estee lauder and dior the sorry this is just navia lip balm i just look too dark i do look too dark professional i look a bit like a schoolgirl. <laughs> my skin is definitely way more dewy 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 and more moisturized than usual like it has a stick to it Usually when I apply foundation, that don't happen. Usually my foundation oxidizes and it goes, you know, kind of more matte, which is pretty cool. So I want to see how I react when I put, apply powder on, like. To be honest, compare this to my neck. Now it looks pretty nice. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's see how it does in the, in the long run, shall we? Why do I do? Every time I speak, I say something but Just to grasp for air. Oh, it's plum fragrance. I don't know why, but I'd say my skin looks way more natural than usual because usually when I apply foundation, it does look a bit like there is foundation here, but I don't know about you guys, but now it's just kind of, okay, I, I, I see you monster X. You probably had no clue what's, what's gonna, what this is gonna be, but it's an, it's pretty good product. It's not bad. Now I'm gonna apply, apply, apply the I do match foundation and shade. 201 ivory to brighten up any dark areas aka like my whole face <laughs> no more like eye baggy area things and i think the oil powder thing i can test because i have noodles to eat so that's why i'm gonna start getting oily i get oily from the thing is your skin's oily from sweat so anything that will cause me sweat or any heat around my face will do that i probably do it way too aggressively but it works I'm trying so hard to be entertaining any way, shape, or form, but I'm just not. And I'm aware of it, so I truly apologize. <laughs> and the thing is, the whole point of this is not my makeup routine, so I'm just gonna finish off my makeup and like. Shooting them with all I am. I see how it does, because I'm gonna film today even more videos after I eat, because when I'm hungry. No, my camera's about to die. Okay, I'm gonna finish off my makeup and then I'm gonna show you the final result compared to the previous one. <gasps> I literally have a bowl cut. <laughs> And this is the finished look. So this is my skin. Yeah, my skin is always bad, so bear with it, but... I should do like an end screen kind of... Oh. Oh, I mean, I think this is a look. Look, like, like a quiff and a, and a bit. <laughs> it feels pretty nice on my skin with my makeup. I'm actually pretty impressed. 
by the end result and i shouldn't be touching my skin it'll be a pretty cringy bully wheel <laughs> because usually after i apply i did the same makeup routine i usually do my skin feels very ashy in a way because of my powder but as of now i don't know i like it kind of <laughs> would i purchase this product again well this is where i will say no you know why because i don't need 10 million monster x tins <laughs> however if i should probably check if there are any refills for this hell yeah i think these are pretty cute i mean pretty good the packaging is pretty good as nothing will scratch off very easily at all it's small so it's good for travel size definitely i think this is good if you are traveling you can take this tin and it's going to be a shake it's going to kill all of you so i took the plastic bit out so that's my fault Ooh. if you're traveling and you take those two things but you take out the plastic thing out you know that thing thing words then you can like put in a little foundation in there a little mascara lip tint and a little eyeshadow set maybe like your eyeshadow and you think i think you'd be gucci to go with this because this gives you such a nice base for your foundation and then the anti-oil thing actually my nose is very oily right now let me let me show you the magic yeah my skin is actually really bad you see this is the magic of cameras i don't know how the how cameras smooth out my skin so well yeah not the shiny bit here this is highlight here my skin is very oily you probably cannot tell maybe you can but look at this right no probably can't see the difference but i can feel the difference and i know it's this oil control but even just like here this bit gets oily for me even just like now i like it <laughs> this is something i take when i'm going out definitely because i never touch up my makeup usually after a while when oh my goodness when my makeup washes off my face well not really makeup but more because of my glasses or my eye makeup because i have quadruple eyelids not even like not double the like quadruple then it moves around so i just kind of smudge it off but then i think if i even just was able to tap it above here where i don't have eyeshadow it would really help overall for this product i'd give it a solid 7 out of 10 honestly solid 7 out of 10 because the package is nice cute and aesthetic i'm looking at everything in total it was just a bit dirty on the side but it literally came off so i'm not mad about it it's printed nicely packaged well nothing was damaged which was really good don't know why it's always a bit dirty everywhere but whatever as of the products would i use these again yes this oil control thing definitely definitely because i know you have those like paper tissues they go Ch -ch. but man this just feels more handful in a way but it's so tiny I mean, I have big, I don't have big. I thought I have big hands, but then everyone says I have like chubby baby hands, but I'm a bit confused. I need that small. Did I just buy it because it's Master X? Partially, yes, but I'm actually not mad at it at all. Because again, combination skin for me, I'm not oily everywhere. So, you know, foundation, so, <laughs> and everything. So, is this did a good job with, like, I'm still kind of impressed by how firm and like, not sticky, but like nice my skin is. Because as I said, usually it'd be like ashy and like, but now it's like, it feels quite nice actually but I was, i'm not sure if it's gonna move around because of this it doesn't seem like it so again i'm impressed does it brighten up the skin and help out that much i'd say yes but make sure you have a better foundation than i do as in literal foundation um yeah again seven out of ten it's small it's useful it's a nice tin but i wouldn't buy it again because i don't need 10 million monster x tins and packaging if there is a refill i'd probably refill however it's a maybe for a second purchase but but definitely a seven out of ten it does what it says that's spf 50 which is amazing as i said before it smells nice <laughs> packaging is nice so it's all products it's okay you know for like merch yeah I think this makeup look is cute though, like for a job interview the hair. Oh my god, I'm digging this. Thank you for watching. If you want to see any more makeup related KBT stuff videos, let me know. I'll figure it out. I'll learn as I go. Also, if you want a discount on Yesel, use the code Nicola03. Nicola, because my name is Nicola, and 03, because my friend number is free, and I put a zero there just, just for the sake of it. I'm not creative. Please leave me alone. Actually, my second option was One Hose Big TDs 2020. However, 
I didn't have enough space. I wasn't allowed this many characters, so I didn't do that. Yeah, so thank you for watching and oh, please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification button so you know whenever I post. And I'm sorry for being such a mess. See you later, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Stan Monster X. And if you see those lip tints at a good price anywhere, please just drop it below or tweet me or DM me or email me or send me a pigeon. Please let me know. Bye bye. Who took a second?